Almost all statistical analysis depends on samples that accurately represent a population or on samples that are comparable to other samples. For example, consider collecting a sample of the plants shown in this diagram which shows a garden with various types and sizes of plants. In addition to the visible variations between the plants, it's likely that there are other less visible variations across the garden such as uneven watering or uneven soil conditions or differences in the amount of sunlight reaching different parts of the garden. To accurately represent the population, an ideal sample needs to include representative proportions of all of these variations. A sample where some type of plant or some growing condition or any group in the population is overrepresented or underrepresented is called a biased sample. Almost any sample that is drawn selectively from some part of the garden will be biased in some way, where the proportion of some types or sizes of plants or some soil or other conditions in the population will not be the same as the corresponding proportions in the sample. A common solution to this problem is to select plants at random in such a way that every plant in the population has the same chance of being in the sample. A sample chosen in this way is called a simple random sample, sometimes abbreviated SRS. Although any individual simple random sample will vary in some way from the population, a simple random sample will, on average, have the same characteristics as the population. Although simple random sampling is conceptually easy to understand, simple random sampling can be quite difficult to do in practice, and so biased samples are quite common. Sampling biased often happens when there is no particular strategy for collecting data, such as in the garden example, when sampling is done by selecting plants that are large or unusual or that otherwise attract attention, or when sampling is done using what is called convenient sampling, which means selecting individuals that are conveniently available, such as plants that are near a garden walkway. The resulting samples are likely to be biased because plants near the walkway, or plants that for some subjective reason tend to attract attention, may not be typical of plants in the rest of the garden. In this diagram, for example, the plants near the walkway tend to be smaller plants. Another common source of bias is volunteer sampling, which is sampling in which individuals self-select to be part of the sample, such as individuals who choose to respond to a public survey, or in the garden example, plants that are selected by some process that does not select from the entire garden, such as selecting plants that have somehow propagated to some part of the garden. Volunteer sampling can result in bias because plants that propagate may not be typical of all of the plants in the garden, just as individuals who choose to respond to a survey may not be representative of the entire population. Even with a good random sample, bias called non-response bias can happen if data is not collected for every selected individual, such as if not all selected individuals agree to participate in a survey, or if some part of the garden is closed or is difficult to access, or if equipment failures result in missing data. Regardless of the cause, if data is not collected for every individual selected for a simple random sample, the data that is collected may not be representative of the entire population. Various ways, in addition to simple random sampling, of getting unbiased samples will be discussed in the next section.